we made the main title uh, a common language for electrical engineering, which was basically the subtitle for Lone Pine Writings. But since this is on uh, Amazon now, and most anybody that would uh, find this book, come across it somehow, would not know what Lone Pine Writings is, and it doesn't really mean anything to them. But a common language for electrical engineering, um, at least that explains what it is. And uh, so this is available on Amazon right now. You can either search Eric's name or you can just, in Amazon, type in a common language for electrical engineering. And uh, the paperback um, is available. It's a 6x9. It's around 160-something pages or so. And um, the Lone Pine Writings was a compilation of about, what, maybe five papers that you did individually, and they were posted well, on the Energetic Forum. Is, uh you know, I was a complete uh, human refugee at that point, living in the bushes. So, with the sabotage car, Landers had just been taken away from me. They got my dog. Uh, the damage was total. So, when I landed there, uh, I had to start, because uh, I was destitute, I had to start trying to find, you know, people I could become friends with or whatever to try to make some income or, or deal with the situation. So the first place I went was to the museum to see if there was any projects there, you know, that just for something to do during the day I could assist them with. So there was. They wanted me to assemble a small portion of the original railroad telegraph line. So I went out to my little lawn piles out in the desert and got some insulators. And they had some insulators and some pieces of wire and set up a little thing and made a drawing for them of, of how it all looked and all that. And, so I met some people there, and we got into this discussion, and uh, and the idea came up. Uh, there's one guy there that was an animation artist for Disney, and he goes, you know, why don't you make a picture book for children about electricity? And that was kind of interesting, and uh, but that's kind of what led to these presentations, which, uh, as you have seen, is very pictorial. So. They were more interested in what this stuff was about electricity and all that, so I was trying to figure out a way to explain this stuff to someone that never had any previous knowledge at all, but, but some of these people were, you know, pretty brilliant and had uh, some basic electronics background or, or did things in life where at least they had to handle the material world. So what I did is then I went back off to the bushes and started the process. Okay, here I am. I have no reference books. I have nothing at all, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to rewrite the entire book on electricity from the very beginning, step one. So that's what Lone Pine's writing is. So there was every day for about four or five hours for, for three or four years, uh, I compiled quite a quantity of material, not all of it which is in this book. There's more of it elsewhere, like on the energetic form and what have you, but but that's how the process began, and then and eventually you compiled a quantity of that into a complete section, which became known as the Lone Pine Writings, which people really like. So now it's become a book. But of course, I've kept going with this, so I'm working on another book right now, which uh, is the second volume of the first volume, which no one's even seen yet, which was based on the extra luminal presentation, that book will be about 1,600 pages long. So 500 pages have already been written, and they're waiting to figure out a way to get them out. So are you referring to the uh, notebooks, notebooks with the J.J. Thompson yeah, with, and work in it? J.J. Thompson and the Steinmetz force equations and, and okay. all that uh -huh. type of stuff in them. So the, so the uh, time frame for that, or, or at least what the agenda is to roll that out, is... Um, there's five notebooks, but the number four and five have the J.J. Thompson stuff that we're going to release four, four is, first. Four is the J.J. Thompson, and five is the Steinmetz, but it's all related to the ether and the forces mm -hmm. associated with the ether. So it's one topic. So, so what we're going to do is basically just scan those notebooks in and... Um, Turn those into an ebook, and that's going to be the easiest, fastest way to get it out. Yeah, to start with, uh, because that's, you know, just doing Lone Pine writings just for the formatting and all that kind of thing with all the equations is a uh, kind of a serious job. But but at least the scanned uh, notebooks will be made available, and um, 
I'll be working on that when I get back to Spokane with uh, Jeff, and and we'll get that out as soon as we can. And it will take longer to eventually get those in the in the paperbacks, but at least the material will be available. You know, so the one that preceded that that was its own workout. That was the Verser Algebra one, and the uh, the volume three of it is not done yet. That's sitting in here, waiting. So, but I'm kind of taking a break from that now. So.